John Jones, I'm here at home, and it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day in Wisconsin. At least I think so, I don't actually live there. But times have been tough down at the refinery lately. Um, at least that's what I've heard. You'd have to ask one of the workers. But I have been drinking a lot today and eating as well, so all is good with me. Let's go look at some radios, and maybe, if we're lucky, we'll be able to touch them. Let's do it. Now, you may remember in the last video, I was checking out this Royce 613 and it didn't turn on. So I had to take the case off, which I had to drill the screws out of because for some reason they were spot welded to the damn case. So I ended up scratching up the chassis and I'm real freaking happy about that. During that process, uh, that little sticker on the faceplate just fell the fuck off. So this once beautiful radio is looking like this now. And my God, it's dark. It oh, wait. Now, unfortunately, it wasn't just a protection diode that blew. Some asshole has soldered a bunch of extra components on here. Unfortunately, in this case, it's not just a protection diode that's the problem. We have stuff that's soldered in here. We have a resistor that's sort of soldered in. We have a diode that looks like it might be factory. I'm not quite sure. This, I know, isn't factory right here, the way it's soldered in. And it even looks like they've added a couple capacitors. And the only reason I say that is just because how ugly that solder job looks right there. Um, these are the, of course, factory capacitors. And you can see they don't look awful, whereas some of these really do look quite awful. And I don't have the schematic for it. And I need to break down and buy an oscilloscope and learn how to really in-depth fix these damn things. But luckily, I still have a bunch of radios to show off. So I don't even have to worry about this right now. But it's still going to bug me. It's still going to bug me. But today, I thought I'd show off this radio, this radio, this radio, and this radio. Because these were all purchased in a lot, and I have no idea if they work. So let's try them. This is the Cobra 29 XLR. I think these debuted in 1978. Although, you'd have to fact check me on that. I can't remember entirely. However, this one looks a lot worse than the one I showed off last time. Because this one is corroded to hell and back. Um, you can see the corrosion around the sides. And in fact, on top, underneath the vinyl, a solid layer of iron oxide. In fact, the microphone, I actually cannot, so help me God, unscrew from this thing. Will it work? Well, let's give it a shot. Mm, moment of truth. <laughs> 15. That's actually a little bit uh, unsatisfactory because this thing, when I plugged up at first, didn't work. And it wasn't until I screwed around with the PACB that the... Wait a minute, I'm starting to get sound. It is actually drawing power. The light does fluctuate. So it may very well transmit. <laughs> well, the sound's freaking gone now. Great. Like, all of these feel crunchy. Or really, really tight and hard to turn. So I'm guessing someone's dropped this in a freaking lake. All right, so we are getting received for sure. I got it hooked up to the outside antenna. Let me get something under this. All right, let's see if this thing actually transmits and all. I don't even know if we can get a carrier here. Oh, we do. Whoa! I didn't expect that. It's not swinging, so the meter must be stuck. Okay. All right. Let me uh, set this SWR real quick. And the dynamite is halfway, so let's crank it all the way up there. <whistles> Audio. <whistles> Audio. So, it's not swinging too hard. Oh, it did that again. It cut off, cut off entirely. Okay, so the only problem I'm really seeing with this thing is it is having problems with intermittent receive. And, of course, the transmit is sort of weak. Can be way, way stronger. And uh, that's probably just because it's an old beat-up-ass radio. Anyways, let's go on to the next one, which is a Cobra 29-23 channel model. This one does not turn on. And I'm thinking it could be the CBPA switch. 
because they do get really crusty and cause problems and these radios are really really stiff so they've been sitting somewhere quite poorly for a while let me just ah, this cbpa switch is pain in the ass I'm trying to hear a click now when i turn it on unfortunately the cobra is just not doing anything at all right now these switches are really bad on it, and they're really mushy and messed up. But we can try out this unit in PC77, which is upside down, and we're going to have to test it upside down because it actually goes this way. So I assume it's supposed to be mounted um, above the driver so you can actually see the controls. All right, let's give it a shot. and try to get out of your damn light. <coughs> Shit. Okay, so we do actually get a red light. Nothing out. RF gain up. Holy shit. That was, that was a terrifying message to come through. I don't know what it was, but it sounded like a child and like a demon child that would haunt your dreams. Probably a Mexican lady. Ah! Can't get any transmit out of this yet. All right, let me try a different microphone. I don't think that's the case but it never hurts to do the most ridiculous thing that probably will not work at all because the only way the microphone wouldn't work as if it wasn't making contact and it obviously is considering that light's coming on but hey why not like forget all logic wait a minute wait a minute haha <laughs> logic Screw you, man. It's actually working. Let me get in closer to the meter. Alrighty. So, someone's cranked it up, it looks like a bit. Audio. My god, the SWR is a bit high, though. Alright, but we're not getting any receive. Well, I mean, we did hear that demon child scream. Ah, something there. Let's see, the squelch. Ah, squelch. It is working. There's receive. Let's see if it now works. Yep, it's working. Turn the wave blinker on too for the hell of it. So I actually have two of these if you didn't see the last video. I'm going to go ahead and test this one. Uh, of course, completely different, obviously. This is the one on the bottom we just tested, and this is the new one here. So let's see if it turns on. We got it hooked up in the back, so... Well, that's a good sign already. We do receive. Channel display is actually in good condition. A&L seems to cut off everything, and the noise blinker is just stuck on. The LED is just stuck. Um, I don't know why A&L is actually attenuating the signal to the point where I can't hear anything, but... Squelch is all the way down. RF gain's all the way up, so... Wow, that's just really hardcore a &L? I don't know. Hardcore a &L. That sounds rough. Ah. <laughs> never, never opt for hardcore a &L. Um. <laughs> all right, let's see if it transmits. Got myself with that one for sure. This has a, uh, an old, ugly mic, but... Uh, it is built well. It's a Road King 56, and they're heavy duty. Audio! Audio! Hello! My bow! Actually, it does quite well. My gain's all the way up. And we're not reaching. We're actually pushing way over the 10 watt scale, so let's uh, go to 100. Looks like it's hitting about 15 watts on the 100 watt squ uh, scale there. And the carrier is way too high. It's about six watts, but it still is modulating quite well to be um, at 15 watts modulation with a carrier at six. So that indeed does work except for the horrible hardcore ANL and the noise blinker being stuck on 
Channel 9 doesn't actually... Maybe uh, it's just... That's odd. I've never seen a Channel 9 button that didn't actually display Channel 9. Or Channel 19. Maybe something's wrong with it. PA and CB doesn't seem to uh, affect anything. Well, maybe so. It does. Okay. But that uh, noise blinker's all the way in. Or always in. So, working decently enough, let's go ahead and move on to the realistic that we got from Eric from Farpoint Farms and the president. All right, this is the realistic Navajo that we ended up getting from Eric from Farpoint Farms. It's a TRC 433. And now in the listing, it said this did not work. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and verify that. Okay, so we are getting full channel display is nice and bright too um i'm not hearing anything though that's the problem oh wait there's something there we got this hooked up just oh wow a lot of clicks and pops through there like there's some voltage spikes. I'm not getting any RF out on the mic. And the mic is working, because you can hear the audio go dead. Um, I will try a different mic just in case. After a quick mic change, still nothing. So what I'm gonna do is occasionally, I've seen them do this, I'm going to hold down the mic button with my arm and we're going to scroll through the channels and see if anything happens. No luck on that. It sounds like it's receiving, but that also could just be static from anywhere. All right, so I went ahead and removed the antenna and there's no attenuation at all to that signal. So we are not in any way, shape or form getting signal from the antenna jack. So this is indeed messed up. But let's try out the Honest Abe. We are at the last radio of the lot. Let's go ahead and see if the Honest Abe president radio turns on. Oh, okay. So at least we have the Nice channel display showing up. There's no missing segments there. Let's see, squelch all the way down. Stiff squelch, by the way. Looks like this thing's had some corrosion on the inside. Delta tune we do not need. Um, what feels like, there we go, in the middle. Dimmer, that's ah, a little bit rickety, but it works. Let's see if PA does anything. Are we receiving anything at all? All right, so we have no receive. Let's try transmit. Nothing at all. Well, the button just fell off. That's fun. <laughs> uh, you know, when life stops kicking my ass, I'm really gonna start looking into this radio repair stuff again. I'm studying what I can right now with ham radio but I'd really like to fix these things buy the equipment stop giving all my money to lawyers for immigration anyways I guess that's it that's the end of the video did you enjoy the video I hope you did and we'll be back next time with some more new wonderful glorious content from Johnny Jones at home Till next time, I wear my sunglasses at night. It's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later.